what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here. Today I am excited and honored to be hanging out with the legendary Dean Laux who paints all of the Liberty coaches. And we're gonna take a tour of his coach and stacker trailer and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the paint job that he did on this coach. Well, about 1,700 hours worth of, <laughs> worth of time. Yeah, none of this stuff happens easy or quick. Um, my last coach was Reds and I think the company colors since about oh, 2004 were red, black, silver, white. So really all I did was I changed the, the blue to the, from the red to the blue and got into more of the, um, oh, I don't know if you call it a light, bright blue. I don't know what the name would be, but um, anyways, we've used that on the coach, which is really different. It's, it's a, a, a very unique design. And I was actually asking Dean earlier where does he get his inspiration for this paint jobs from? Uh, where yeah, does it come from? Every day from, is Boston? a new day. You know, you go out and have fun that night, and if you don't remember much from the day before, then every day is a new day. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't already know Dean and his artwork, he is, uh, I'd say, one of the top painters, if not the top painter in the world, in the motor coach world. And um, what what kind of fun stuff do you do? Well, you know, over the years, it's been. It's been a lot since uh, we've been doing this for 30 years full time, artwork. And artwork is paintings in houses, artwork is on uh, power boats. And so for years we were uh, at the shop, we'd have eight boats going at the same time. Now it's motor coaches. But even back in the mid 90s, we started doing work with Liberty Coach. And uh, we did uh, any kind of murals, uh, uh, design work, uh, really complicated paint jobs that that Prevo uh, wasn't able to handle. And uh, us being over in Elkhart, Indiana, and Liberty Coach being in Chicago, uh, it was convenient for them to bring them over to us at that point in time. But uh, they're a very loyal company, and um, which is great, because they didn't change for many years until 2012, and then we were able to take over and do all the paint work since 2012, which has really changed the world in the motorhome community, especially the Prevo end. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And yeah, you're you're. And I said the word painter. I really should say artist because really, every coach that Dean touches is a work of art. Tell us a little bit more. So this is a 2008 uh, Liberty coach. 2008. Yep. And last year you had it. Uh, everyone was signing the coach. And well, we bought the coach uh, in April and knew that we wouldn't have time to paint it. So I had to get real creative in how do we set ourselves apart from everybody else and, and what, what they have with a standard paint job. So we kind of set off around the country with a big fat Sharpie and anybody could write anything they wanted on it. Anytime we went to a truck stop, uh, anytime we stopped anywhere, anybody get their hands on us, we were inviting them over to, to sign the coach and uh, they were pinning people up on it, tracing them out, uh, just all kinds of fun stuff. It was, it was great. Yeah, it was, they were having a blast out here last year. Everyone was out here signing it. It had, I don't know if uh, all everything on it could make uh, YouTube. Uh, no, it, no, 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 not much. This but, is Sturgis, so. When you tell them to sign anything they want, they did. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go take a look inside at the coach and Dean is gonna give us a tour of his coach and his stacker trailer. So let's go take a look inside. Let's do it. This is my crib, my rolling crib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got everything you need here. Uh, people don't realize how cool they are until you actually have a chance to uh, to uh, come see something and see the whole package. How everything works. Have you done any modifications to the inside of this coach? You know, I'm more of an outside guy. Yeah. <laughs> if I uh, actually, we found the inside and we said, "I love it." Nancy was in Colorado, and I said, "This is like gets us from our 05 to an 08, and let's just do a whole nother one, new paint scheme and new colors, and just." Wow, everybody, let's just do it again. Yeah, and so last this is year, number three. Yeah, last year you guys had the um, autographs on the coach and. Uh, yeah, so same coach in tans, the way the factory did it. Tans might even have some green in it or something. But uh, so we thought, well, the only way to have fun is let's have everyone sign it. You know, so whatever they wanted to write all year long. By the time we got back from Sturgis and some of the other trips we made out west, uh, we were in Dallas and uh, we got home and it was just covered in writing. And this coach is a Liberty coach? Liberty coach, so it's a Prevo, converted by Liberty, which is the oldest converter company for Prevos in the country. Very They've been doing cool. it the longest, over 50 years. 
And do you mind if I walk through a little no, bit no, and show the folks? Uh, so this is where it happened. So um, is this, I, I, I'm, I'm attracted to the office over here. This is quite an office. Is this where you do some of your work in the this coach? This is where I do all my work. Yep, it makes it very simple. I can log in here to the computer. Yeah, so this is just perfect. Anywhere in the country I can be, I can design it and uh, lay out the paint schemes and send it back to the shop. And uh, I got the cameras there, I can watch the shop, what's going on, and when I need to fly back and do something artistic or uh, drive home, we can schedule a time when I'm back there doing the artwork and the paintings and or the, the artwork on the coaches, it's different than what we've run through production. Very cool. Well, you know, this is no eight, and I mean, what else do you need? You know, you got the big screen TV, it comes out of the, the ceiling there. Uh, you press a button and the blinds go down. Uh, I think the table, yeah, the table's out, you press it, it goes back in. Uh, I mean, you got a custom painted toaster. I what, love it, I love what it. What gets better than that? I think I saw these on the Travel Channel, was it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's a remnant from the last coach that had a little bit of red in it. So I need to uh, take it back to the shop and get the blue. Absolutely, yeah, I look forward yeah, to seeing well, that. So. Uh, spare time, right? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So um, this folds into a, 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 the couch folds into a bed. Um, everything we've got runs on Crestron system. So uh, we go in here, and then uh, you got your lights. Uh, so we'll turn the the other uh, little spotlights around the windows. Just came on, but um, you do your climates. So you all the air conditioners, your mechanical systems. So um, table in. So there goes wow, the table. Wow, that is too cool. So when you're driving down the road, you can put that in. And then um, the uh, you lock the doors, turn all the lights on outside. I mean, just everything. Everything, everything. All, all, oh. all at the push of a button. And so every finish in this was original from 2008, all the interior yeah. finishes, yeah. wow. Uh -huh. I'm, yep. I'm really impressed. Um, I actually uh, made a YouTube video about a 2001 Liberty coach and um, Liberty is just timeless with their design. Uh, it still feels like we're in a new coach. So they, they have a way of uh, thinking of head, uh, ahead, it seems like. So. Well, you know, when you do it a certain quality, it's almost like the paintwork. You know, it's timeless if, if you're just spot on and that's the way they are. Look at these compound curves. Uh, you know, it's curving this way and it's curving around and the cabinet doors are all curved. Yeah. And they have to open and close right. So it really gets, if you, you know, all this cat or all the woodwork up on top, the mirrors add height to it. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't even realize how much detail is into, uh, into the woodwork here. So because it's so hot out, and they probably have a bad breaker here. We just blew the breaker, but the generator automatically kicked on and you don't even know the difference other than I just need to kick the air conditioners back on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Very cool. So you got your microwave, uh, dishwasher, uh, trash compactor, and then storage everywhere. I mean, everything everything opens up into a, to a bin and... You yeah. Know, you've got the uh, washer and dryer. Very cool. And a full-size fridge. Wow. And then you've got the... Oh, hold it. Stay right there. And watch this. Because this, this makes it great if you got company. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Back again. So uh, this one has the same door. So if, if someone needs to get to the restroom, which is right here, so you're having a party up front, some, someone wants to sleep. Back and Jill, yep. you know, which is great. So you you barricade off this back door and someone has access, the people in front have access to the bathroom, the person sleeping or in the bedroom has access. Very well thought out. And that's a really spacious restroom. I'm surprised at how much room it seems like there is in there. Like so then these are all uh, closets close in them and then uh, get the automatic blinds back here uh, more iPads to control everything in the so all you, you can control everything while laying in bed well you do it from that one or you do it from this one this is the, uh, the 
Crestron pad itself. So this is more direct wired where that's going through the uh, Wi-Fi. There and then cool. you get your TV here, sound system, and then all storage in here. So, yeah, very cool, beautiful. You, you, you really take care of it. And uh, Dean's showing us this kind of last minute, so he uh, he keeps his stuff really clean. Uh, really appreciate him uh, letting us take a tour here. So, let's uh, let's go outside and, uh, and yeah. take a look at the paint all job. Right. All right. So is this bike painted to match the coach then? This bike I bought down here last year and um, it's got the same color as what's on the coach. Very cool. So, so you already matches. you already knew that that was kind of the color scheme you were going to go with? Yeah, I already had the design done for the coach. Oh, cool. And so it was great that everything just matches. Beautiful bike. Then you got all the all the extra equipment up there and uh you can't am Well, Dean, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to share with us your amazing piece of artwork here today and greatly appreciate all of you watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more RV-related content. Thank you. Thank you, sir.